Hey guys, welcome back and uh, let's do a lick of the week, all right? Uh, this week I was actually planning on doing um, um, a sextuplet kind of run, alternate picking type of thing, um, three notes per string, uh, but I thought I'd kind of take it a little bit further and uh, just spice it up a little bit. You know, the original idea was to do something like... But, um, you know, I think a lot of metal guys play that kind of stuff, myself included, and um, yeah, a lot of us know already these kind of shapes. So I thought, you know, let's try something different. Let's um, try to add, like, do an ascending and descending scale run by connecting two positions together and see what we can come up with. So uh, this is an interesting sound, uh, the, the effect you get from that. Um, it's quite interesting, especially if you uh, combine it the right way into your phrasing. So, here is the idea. So, okay, so basically what I'm doing is I start here, on the 10th fret on the E string, and then instead of going to the, instead of going here, on the 10th fret, I move one, I shift one position back, so, I start on the F sharp note, so you have that kind of unison here, you know? That's what makes it interesting. So when you do that, you go up one step higher, sorry, one position higher. So here when you end on the B, so you go between the two positions here, I'm always on the 12th position, right? This is E minor or G major, however you want to look at it. Right, on the G string. And you can do the same thing uh, when you go back. And you can connect the two. So, yeah, I think this is a very cool idea, and if you incorporate, I mean, this is just like an exercise now, right? But if you incorporate it in your solos and your playing, I mean, uh, it can achieve some pretty cool, kind of like out there type of results, kind of like... <laughs> when you jam at home or to a backing track, just try it and um, see what you can come up with. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you very soon.